sorry. Um, so uh, I have some, <laughs> you know, um, difficult difficulties to understand what I want to do next. I mean, not what I want to do next, but I'm not sure how I want to place the bath right now. So let's take this as a, you know, uh, just for a, just for now, it will stay here. And if I'm gonna, you know, decide later on that I want to move it, so we will do this. Anyway, about our uh, window, as you can see right now, if I'm gonna enter the room with my camera, the window is a little bit too low here in this case. So I'm gonna right-click, choose vertices, and I'm gonna grab those vertices here, and simply, well, I will need the other ones as well there. I'll move them. Well, that's not the way to move them. Let's move them that way. Bring those up. Let's have a look here. And let's say that that's fine. Now, the reason I said I'm a little bit confused about if this should be here or not is because I want to put some, you know, cabin here next to it so, you know, people can simply put their shampoo and whatever they have um, near to the bath. So, I want this to be closer, so I'm going to rotate this bath that way. I'm going to move it over here, and I'm going to place this that way, and maybe I will rotate it uh, even more, I guess. No, let's let's keep it that way. That's fine. I want the handle, uh, safety handle to stay where it is, so no problems that way. Press F8, bring it back to, oh, sorry, move it out from here and now I'm gonna grab my channel box here and let's take this for now as like here I'm gonna just well I'm gonna rotate it hold on the J and put it over this wall at this side, okay, and we will start. We will add this to the bath layer. Add selected object because it's selected, and we're gonna get rid of everything. I'm gonna create a cabin, a very small little cabin. I'm gonna start off with the cube. Simply bring this into something like that. Move it over here. Well, it's not a no, I don't. Not sure how to call this a cabin or just a little desk or I don't know. Anyway, um, creating cube, shift right click, insert edge loop. We're gonna add a few edge loops here. So one edge loop here, that way, and one edge loop here. And according to this one, I want to make another one next to it, something like that. I'm gonna take the edge. Select the edge, this edge. Control right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split. And shift right click, offset edge loop tool. Okay. On top of this edge, click, hold and drag and position this that way. And we can as well, well, let's leave it that way. And I'm going to create few more edge loops here. Shift right click, insert edge loop. Sorry. Object mode, shift right click, insert edge loop. I'm gonna, this area will be empty. This area will have a draw. Okay. Here it will be empty, empty again. So I'm gonna add two edges to divide these two parts from each other. I'm gonna add Sorry, one more edge here to divide this part from this area. And right click, choose face. I'm going to grab this face. And that face, that face, that face. Right now we are looking at this cabin as it was the front. I'm going to extrude those faces. Click extrude and extrude them that way. Okay, so we will have something like that. Now, it's not like the most beautiful cabin, I don't know, or whatever it is. Cabin is well, from what I know, cabin is like, uh, you know, uh, well, just slipped off my mind. Uh, 
you know, like uh, apartment in the woods or something, but it's not what I meant. Now I'm confused why it's called also cabin. Anyway, so adding, extruding these two guys and extruding them a little bit. So, and scaling this so the frame here will look the same even and click this one shift double click on this one it will loop select those faces we're going to extrude them inside just a little bit like so press f8 to bring it back to object mode and this will be something like a, you know a kind of a draw and we have those two i want to extrude them inside so extrude and bring them inside now I'm gonna pull them so they will uh, pick out from here and then slightly bring them back so we won't be able to see them press F8 making sure it's good that's great now I'm gonna do something similar with those but with those we will need to do some more modifications so I'm gonna extrude them and because we are extruding them but we are as well as stretching these faces here we will need to delete those. So I'm gonna grab those. And by the way, you could have done these two and those two at the same time, just so they will be in the same depth there. But anyway, it's not very that much, you know, important, so that's fine. So grab those, deleted them, and you see we have a nice kind of cabin here just to make things a little bit more interesting in our bathroom. Um, I do want to do something, except this, I'm going to, sorry, grab this edge and select this edge and select this edge and these two, okay, see those, and I'm going to select, sorry, select this one here, this one as well, this one, this one, and that one, okay, now those edges you can see are almost similar down and beneath so shift right click bevel edge it will bevel them and what I want to do with that is I want to go over press F8 bring it back to object mode go over the attribute editor tab search for poly bevel because this is the first bevel we've done on this object and change the friction into something lower the friction a little bit more segments maybe or leave it as it is I don't care do whatever you feel like just so we will have a slight beveled there with that done you're gonna grab this edge well double click on this one and you can see that these haven't been selected and this is good we don't need them to be selected we're gonna select this one and double click on this one making sure that these as well have not been selected so basically th these two strips of loops I need I need and shift right click bevel edge and press F8 now this is the bevel number two we created so we need to go over the attribute editor while it's in object mode and choose poly bevel two and make sure we are controlling this this bevel fun, uh, that we've done with this tab okay here you can as well change segments maybe add more less fraction more fraction up to you. Um, that's done. Press F8, bring it back to object mode. I'm gonna create a sphere here. You know what, I don't like those, this kind of spheric designing, so I don't wanna do, I don't wanna create sphere and I don't wanna create, um, whoa, I don't wanna create um, anything else. I will simply extrude it out of this area. So, Grab this edge, control right click, edge ring until to edge ring and split. That's done. You're gonna press F8, bring it back to object mode, shift right click, offset edge loop tool, click on this edge, create those two edges, like so. Now this will determine what will be the thickness of the handle that we are gonna uh, amount here or create here. So I'm gonna grab them all as vertices, because I want the handle to be a little bit up but I don't want those vertices okay only those switch to move tool pick them up a little bit okay press F8 bring it back to object mode shift right click offset edge loop click here 
on top of this again. Now I'm choosing what will be the thickness of this handle and right now I can, well I will do another one maybe. Now pay attention that I'm not using any smooth preview on this object. I don't want to smooth preview it. I like this sharp and it will remain sharp. All I care is about these guys here. These two, not four, only two. And maybe we will be able to take this two as well. Okay. And simply extrude them that way. Well, something like that. Make it noticeable. I mean, you want, you want people to be able to see this, not just, uh, you know, I don't know how to say this. Some word I'm missing right now. Okay, I'm going to delete those two here. Press delete. And what I will do here with that is I'm going to grab this one, this one, and this edge, and this edge. Sorry. Not that. Okay, these two. I'm going to extrude them. Switch to Move Tool. Hold down the V key and push them downwards so they will meet with these. So basically this is what happened right now. And then I'm going to right click choose vertices. I'm going to grab all of the vertices in this area. Okay, not those, only the, the handle here. Okay, go over mesh, edit mesh, merge components. No, sorry. I shouldn't have selected those. So let's not select those. And let's not select even those we don't need. We only need those who need to be connected, which are those here. So here we have, it seems like two, but we have four from each part. This one that we extruded. And from this side, and we have four here. And we simply want to go over Mesh Tool, Edit Mesh, Merge Component, Again, this is a very high settings. I probably need to change something here. So I'm going to edit, reset settings, and click merge. Still yet, it's merging because it's very close to each other. I'm going to lower down the merge threshold to something like 0 0.50 and hope for good merge. Still, this is just annoying. Let's try 20. Okay, so it seems like they've merged. I'm going to check this by simply clicking on one of them and move it. Don't mark we select, only select one of them by clicking on, on top of it and then move this. If you see any open gap, that means that it didn't patch or merged. So let's now grab this thing. The best way to check this is simply grab these two. Oh, we have something here that we need to get rid of. Sorry about that. I'm going to delete this face here inside and this face here. Press delete. And then right click choose edge, double click on this edge and now you can see that the entire edge loop selected just by double clicking on it. And the only thing that interrupts us is those two faces that I forgot about. Anyway, I'm going to go over edit mesh, sorry mesh, Fill hole, press F8. If you into fixing things, you have this area that you need to um, make sure it's, it has its own loop here. So connecting those two, see? That's fine. Press F8, bring it back to object mode. And here you go, we have a simple desk or, I don't know, cabin. <laughs> so this is nice and we can add this into our room. Let's bring the room back. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna expand this a little bit. Scale it. I'm gonna scale it to something that um, you know as from a person who can stand in the bath, you will be able to just simply take, I don't know, uh, whatever it needs from this. I don't know, it's not that, I don't know, I don't like this kind of 
thing, but <coughs> yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this too much. I don't know, it's reminding me same thing I've done with the living room back then and just a little bit poor design of the desk. Anyway, something to have inside here. So you know, people can put shampoo and whatever take from there. I don't know. Whatever. So this is it for this part. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, tutorial part. Uh, if not, don't mention this. And save scene as I'm going to call this bath 7. I'm always experimenting, so please don't pay attention to my own file saves. Just watch yourself, your own uh, progress there, and that's it. See you at the next part. Bye-bye.